What's up? This is Eddie Cho from Rixel.com, and today we're going to talk about the top 10 best things about Diablo 3. Now, I just wanted to mention that, you know, these aren't in any specific order, and these are just 10 things that I really liked about the game. So let's get right into it. Uh, I want to start off with the banner warp system, and I thought that this was a really good addition to the game just because it allows you to, to jump into the action quicker. You know, all you have to do is click on a flag. And you teleport directly to where your friends are and this just speeds up the game there's no like teleporting to town using waypoints and then actually running up to them and finding them i remember playing in the old diablos you would actually have to just use the waypoints and then kind of figure out where your friends are and you'd be like hey meet me at the waypoint and then we would go do battle or whatever so i think the new banner warp system is pretty cool you can customize your banner as well so I always thought that, you know, that whole teleportation system was very good. It just saves you time, and that's that's always a good thing. Moving on, I thought character de deaths in video games are always hard to do. Um, I feel like a few games pull it off pretty well. Final Fantasy VII is one of them. But half the time when characters die in video games, I kind of just roll my eyes, and I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. Or I, or I see it coming. It's like, hey, that guy's probably going to die in the next scene. Yeah, great. But um, I thought the death of Deckard Cain in Diablo 3 was pretty good because you don't really see it coming. It kind of just happens. You, you actually save his life in the first act. And then towards the end of the act, he ends up dying. So you're kind of like, what the hell? I just saved you. So I thought that that was pretty pretty well done by Blizzard. I didn't expect it. And you know, it was pretty emotional. They had this whole cinematic where they bury, they bury him and stuff. So I thought that was pretty good. The next thing about Diablo that you know no one can disagree with is the cinematics if you say that Diablo 3 cinematics are shitty then you're lying because <laughs> the cinematics for Diablo are probably the best in the industry I'm trying to think of another company that does really good cinematics but I feel like Blizzard definitely does the cinematics the best um, the cutscenes are great you, even the the animated shorts when you first start the game are pretty cool and I, I thought like hey wow this is something that Diablo 3 did really well. So cinematics, there you go. I thought the gem system was also really cool. Um, in Diablo 2, the gem system was, it was cool, but you know, there are, there are only so, options, so many options that you could mess with. And you know, you had to find three of the same thing. And I, it was a pain in the ass in Diablo 2. But in, the, in Diablo 3, it's, you know, a lot easier. There's 14 different types. Um, and the, the, I don't know, I just collecting them and I just liked it. So yeah, the gem system. You can you can merge them together. They act, they all have different kind of characteristics and attributes. So I thought that the gem system was really cool and it definitely added upon what whatever was introduced in Diablo 2. So I thought the gem system was definitely a, a big follow up. Diablo 3 uh Blizzard also improved the companion system by adding three different distinct classes. You can choose the Templar, the Scoundrel, or I'm drawing a blank at the moment. Ah, the en Enchantress, yes. So, people are complaining that it wasn't complex enough, that you couldn't really customize them. You know, all in all, I thought that the, the followers were a great addition. You don't want to have another character where you have to min-max and whatnot. You know, they, they're supposed to just be fun. It's always fun watch, have you know having a little buddy watch your back. So I thought the follower system was pretty cool. And yeah, I thought the story behind each of them was interesting, and I thought that the followers were definitely a great addition to Diablo 3. On a more personal note, uh, I also really liked the character uh, Covetous Shen. And just because, you know, when I first saw him, I was like, who's this random guy? But if you listen to all of his dialogue, he's actually more than meets the eye. Anyway, he's um, supposedly some kind of god of, of sorts, and... He's searching, he's searching for this gem called uh, the Durgest, and apparently it's like a demon or something, and he's looking for it. And I just thought his character was really cool because he, he's actually met Sultan Cool, which basically means he's like a hundred, very old, like hundreds of years old. And, you know, I just like the story behind him. He's married a couple times, but every time his family gets like killed and he has bad luck and... Now he's making jewels for you. It, it's interesting. So I definitely think he's going to have more of an impact in the expansion. And and he crafts your gems, you know, which I mentioned before are cool. So definitely like Covetous Shen. And yeah, speaking of which, um, 
I thought in Diablo 3 that a cool thing that you can do now is not it's not really part of the game, but you can go kind of offline and check your character profiles and you know, I, I thought this was pretty cool because you can compare gear and skills, you can check up on your friends. You know, when I play with my friends, usually we all play different classes, so I kind of I kind of look at what he's wearing right now and I say, "Oh, you need a ring." And then, you know, if I have one, then I'll give him to him. And I always think that that's like a good addition that they introduced to the game and it's also cool just to brag you know bragging rights like hey you know this is my character he's got a lot of cool shit so I thought that the introduction of character profiles online was definitely a cool thing another thing that Blizzard uh, did really well with Diablo was basically just all the sound effects and the voice acting and the music everything sound related to the game was amazing I thought specifically Deckard Kane. Teriel and Leah did a great job voice acting. It, it's pretty amazing. If you actually call Blizzard offices, they have this whole like Deckard Kane answering, answering machine. I think it's pretty cool. He's like, hello. But um, yeah, you know, I, I play the Barbarian. And it's really satisfying to just hear him like smack stuff and destroy. And I definitely think the sound effects in the game were top notch. Diablo 3 also does a really great job of making progression feel good and always giving you something to grow upon um, when the game was being developed Jay Wilson had mentioned that he, he kind of switched around the whole skills and runes thing so they unlock as you level up and I definitely think that was a good a good move because every time you level in Diablo or every like 15 minutes or so you're getting something new and I feel like that's really satisfying as a player it's great to see like you know your humble barbarian grow from rags to these so wearing awesome plated armor with horns on your helmet and stuff and I think that that's really cool and I really like that progression from 0 to 60 <coughs> it never feels dull and I think that zero, the experience from 0 to 60 is really fun after 60 however I feel like the whole paragon system eh, it's kind of like the same old same but at least progressing from 0 to 60 I thought was great and finally, another thing I really liked about Diablo, which technically didn't come out on release, was the whole Nephilim Valor patch. And I think that Nephilim Valor definitely adds a lot to the game. What Nephilim Valor is, is every time you can kill an elite pack, you get kind of like a boost to your stats. You get plus 15 gold fine and magic fine, and I think that's great for people after 60. Like I said with progression, um, it's kind of like a solution for what you can do after 60, and I, I thought that that was a great addition. And that builds upon kind of what Nephilim Valor means. It's Blizzard's attempt to constantly improve the game, constantly give gamers, you know, it's not just a product that you buy, and that's that. They're constantly improving it over time with patches, and just they listen to their community, and I think that that's something great that Diablo does. And yeah, that was my top 10 list for Diablo 3. And if I, if I missed anything, please let me know. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, Hey, your list sucks. Diablo 3 sucks. You know, Diablo 3 does not suck. Uh, it's a good game. If you played it, you'll probably agree. But anyway, you know, what are your favorite things about Diablo? You know, please let us know. Comment below. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and, you know, stay tuned. We've got a lot of good things coming up in the near future. We do pretty much gaming news every other day, or we try to do gaming news. So, yeah, keep watching and have a great weekend.